హాయ్ ఆల్ వెరీ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ నిఖిలేష్ సత్య వరకు సో మెనీ ఆఫ్ యమ్ పీపుల్ ఆస్క్ మీ అబౌట్ ఆర్పిఐ బిజినెస్ అనలిస్ట్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద స్కిల్స్ దే రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫర్ ఆర్పిఐ బిజినెస్ అనలిస్ట్ అండ్ హూ ఈస్ ఆర్పిఐ బిజినెస్ అనలిస్ట్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రోల్స్ అండ్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీస్ హీ యూస్ టు డూ అండ్ హౌ టు డీల్ అండ్ ఆర్పిఐ బిజినెస్ అనలిస్ట్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ హిస్ మేజర్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీస్ అండ్ హౌ he be a part of implementation of rpa journey so i am doing a series of video uh, videos on this so uh, if you are first time coming to my channel please subscribe to my channel and follow us for uh, more updates so first of all so what is rpa business analyst i would i would not talk about rpa because many of them know what is rpa robotic process automation and what is the things we are doing on day to day basis so i will quickly jump into the uh, session of uh, business analyst so who is business analyst and uh, uh, what are the roles and responsibilities how to become a business analyst so i will uh, immediately sh- share my screen so uh, building a career in rpa business analyst so uh, who is business analyst so basically the business analyst is the person uh, where a uh, complete end to end journey of an rpa projects he will take care so he is responsible person for creating the documentation conducting the opportunity assessments finding the opportunity assessments and uh, uh, in, uh, involving in the initial process assessment discovery pre discovery and uh, mapping the documents like as is process map and to be process map finding and functional solution so like this he is to involve in the things of rpa uh, so who is business analyst and how to your business analyst plays a major role in the rpa projects so as i said so in the rpa projects so we know developer we know solution architect we know technical lead we know manager but who is business analyst so the business analyst is the person who who comes in the first stage and he will be till the end stage of the rpa implementation for example so in the when the client and the technical team uh, has been uh, engaged with the uh, direct uh, uh, engagement of the business proposals so then immediately business analyst will jump into the uh, things and he will get in touch with the uh, client managers or sme subject matter smes and the business teams so what he will do so he will do uh, the complete uh, opportunity assessments so what is the opportunity assessments like basically he will understand the business terms he will uh, he will create the opportunity assessments he will identify the use cases so whether it is a, he will prioritize the processes whether it is a good candidate for rpa whether it is bad candidate for rpa he will pick into that so uh, in my future in my next videos i will let you know uh, what how to pick a right process for can, uh, automation and how not to pick a good candidate for automation i will let you know so before uh, that is something uh, we will discuss and uh, so business analyst so business analyst should be always he, is, he should be analytical thinking he should be uh, the bridge between the technical team and the uh, development team he should uh he should be always asking a number of questions to the customer to get his get his requirement clear and he will be uh, from the initial stage of automation like uh, uh, initial process assessment finding the opportunities for picking the right candidate for our automation and creating the documentation involve uh, highly be involving in the development and uh, uh, giving the statuses of the development to the customer and involving in the testing involving in the uat so like this so business analyst will play a major role in the rpa processes so
so what is the roles and responsibilities of a business analyst so as i said he will be taking care of the identification of the business requirements initial process assessment discovery phase pre discovery phase creating the documents like uh, as is process maps and to be process maps and the pdd document process design document test cases etc and uh, he will be involving in the pre sales uh, pre sales uh, as an uh, assignments and he will be taking care of the pre sale things as well and he will be taking care of the departmental planning compliance monitoring risk management profitability and as report to the stakeholders so uh, these things i will be take uh, detail will explain you in the detail so how he will do and uh, what he will do so so as a ba so we should understand what client is expecting why the client is asking the automation so what are the limitations of automations like for example the new new client will come in the requirement gathering so he will tell yeah you can automate this step you can automate this step and this is the process and all but you need to understand whether we can do this automation or not you need to understand what are the limitations of automation and what are the um, limitations of rpa or what are the limitations of your particular tool so you need to understand even tool wise also for example if it is ui path if it is an automation anywhere so you need to understand how the things will go what are the limitations of rpa so you need to always understand and make clear understandings with the customer and set their expectations so uh, rpa is not an uh, uh, something like humans will think and it will apply so it is just a mimic actions of uh, human so it is not something which will think and which will form like an entity and it will uh, perform it is not like that so uh, most of you know what are the tools we have, we have in rpa like group prism your path automation anywhere cofax and works pega work fusion uh, soft uh, soft motive uh, many tools are there so if a business analyst should always open to uh, add, uh, open to learn different tools different tech, different technologies domains like healthcare finance hr uh, uh, banking all the insurance so he should always open to learn new things he should always uh, open to learn different tools as well limitations of the tools so like this and uh, uh, so he he will you need to understand what are the limitations and all you need to set an expectations to the client as well so this is something about the tools and coming to the uh, roles and responsibilities so as i said uh, in the, uh, the once the project has been uh, signed duly with the uh, customer and the uh, rpa team business analyst is the first person to jump into the next stage so what is the next stage so when the client has been agreed to the automation pro automation projects and um, uh, the rpa team is ready to do the stages implementation so business analyst will jump into the session and he will take an requirement gathering so before the requirement gathering he will be involving in the uh, pre discovery phase so what is pre discovery phase in the pre discovery phase he will understand what is process what is business process what is client expecting so how many ft full time employees working for this process so he will understand high level process overview and he will take a notes from the smes and all and in the next sessions he will come with up uh, some next uh, some of sort of questions like what is the sla for this processes and what is the average handling time of the process whether it is having a digitalized document whether it is having an invoice processes whether the ocr been involved and when other human interventions is required so all these things he will take care so you need to understand what is the things he is looking for and you need to always ensure what is the things they are looking for and all so this is something we used to see in the uh, discovery phase and the pre discovery phase and again he will jump into the requirement gathering phase in the requirement gathering phase so he will take care about the requirements end to end from the customer and create the documentation like he will create the as is process map and the to be process map so as is process map is nothing but uh, whatever may be the manual st manual steps and manual actions of the process he will take care the he will create an as is map and what he will do 
he will do the complete uh, uh, engagement with the business team like a business sme so whatever he understood from the business team so he will explain to the business team and reconfirms whether my understanding is clear or not so he will take care of that so in between he will create as is process map and he will create a to be process map also so we do we have tools microsoft visio to create the process maps and all so what is to be process map to be process map is the map which will be useful for our uh, robotics implementation so to be process map is standby of an rpa or robot so to be process map is the map which is been created for the robot so as is map and to be process map is completely different so as in the as is map so we will just write an actions of an human and uh, we will create the complete flow but coming to the to be in the to be uh, we should always think in the perspective of robots so like for example n number of exception should be there n number of logic should be there system exception business exception and you need always think like this step or log into a web page so for a log into a web page in the as is map you will write yeah log into a web page but in the to be process map log into a web page if it is fail what is the solution if it is pass what is the next stage so you uh, uh, else condition true condition both will be there and you need to take care both the conditions and if you can want to add some more things also if it is fail what is the thing like you want to share to business team you want to share to something to inform to customer like this you need to do so this is uh, we will discuss this also in future sessions so this is something about the edges and to be process maps and he will create the process definition document design document and he will take care of the sign off of the pdd and once the pdd is done a solution architect will create the sdd so he will create take the sign off of the solution uh, document as well so he will take this as a repository and keep it in the coe folders and uh, he will move to the next stages of estimations in the estimation stage so he will prepare the estimations of the processes like uh, whether it is low level whether it is medium level whether it is a complex level, as per his experience as per his knowledge as per the tool limitations he will create the estimation and he will reconfirm with the solution team and add add the com complete estimations and go through uh, take care uh, approvals of the approvals and he will go for the next stage of development in the development stage uh, the business analyst will create uh, the complete uh, uh, requirements whatever he require whatever the development team is required and he will deploy it to, uh, he will deploy it to the business uh, he will ask the business teams and he will give back to the development team so development team on go uh, will do the development in the in between the development team so a business analyst will take care of the uh, what is a uh the statuses and uh, he will uh, inform to the business teams and the development is done then testing stage in the testing stage business analyst will take care of the testing like uh, uh, what are the tools uh, they have been uh, what, uh, tested and what is the robot how the robot is identified and what are the validations so he will he will check the validations of the test results like completely actual results expected results when the testing also done he will move to the uat in the uat he will sit with the business teams along with the solution team and the coe team and he will validate the, they will validate the, the business team validate the uat results so if there any missing piece then I, a business analyst will take care and inform to the uh, technical team and perform the next stage take care approvals of the uat and then immediately we will have a, another uh, session or another stage uh, hypercare in the hypercare usually we run the our robots in the production uh, uh, production data or a production environment so business analyst will take care and monitor the results and track the results analyze the results and all and he will inform to the business teams and he will take care of the sign off of the uh, hypercare once the hypercare is done then we'll have a session uh, stage of uh, deployment on the handover in the deployment stages so solution architect will prepare the deployment plan and architecture robot licenses uh, etc so he will the business analyst will take care of the complete setup and all he will uh, get it from the business team and hand over to the solution solution team will make the complete setup and hand over to the bots so when the deployment has done then immediately will jump into the handover in the handover session business analyst will do the uh, user manuals he will create the user manuals he will give trainings to the customer so whatever uh, he required for the uh, delivery he will do that so this is something in the deployment and the delivery and one more stage will be there in the change so in the uh, we do have a change and change management so once the is there any in the any stage of uh, complete rba implementation business analyst is responsible to take a change and analyze the change impact the change estimate the change and uh, he will perform as per the uh, use case as per the timelines as per the things he required so this is something each and every stage of a business analyst responsibilities so in
tools I explained. And what is CEO? See, CEO is as you know uh, in the current uh, RPA uh, implementation journey. So we have a center of excellence team. So it is completely uh, uh, embedded and uh, enabled with the different set of people. Like uh, he will, we will have a CEO leader. We will have a developer. We will have a complete uh, BA manager, solution architect. Uh, yeah, it is depends on the as per the support team, as per the company, as per the project. We do see to see it so as i said uh, so uh, who should become an rpa business analyst so as i, I always tell to the people who are uh, enthusiasts of a business analyst so if you have a good communication skills if you have an understanding of a processes if you can uh, analyze the process if you have a good communication and you can talk to your customers directly and uh, engage them and you engage your business team and you, 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 if you have a skill of understanding the processes, and if you are uh, open to ask n number of questions to your customer, and if you have some analytical skills, and if you are having some logical skills, and he, this kind of see, it is, it is not something miracle. It is not something miracle. I say. So you can, uh, you can, you can become a business analyst. It is not uh, that much tough or something. So you can, it is it is easy and uh, if this if you are fit into the skills and set of uh, skills you have definitely you can become a business analyst and in our future sessions so I will explain each and every stage and how to deal it and what are the challenges or whatever it may be I will do it and uh, say again so a challenges so I have mentioned as I said I will uh, discuss this also in future session. So in high level, like a process analysis issue, business case issue, development issue, lack of help from business team, disabled but not economical, maintenance issue, infrastructure issue, post implementation. So all these things I will do explain very soon. So as I said, how career would be there? Career would be really good if you want to become a business analyst, skill set agenda, I said. So this this are the, some of the roles in the industry, like junior RPA, BA, RPA, BA, business analyst, senior RPA, business analyst, lead RPA, business analyst. And later you can, if you, the, your experience is good and after some time you can become program manager and later you can become delivery manager. So this is something about uh, business analyst. So in the future, so next sessions, I will explain each and every stage and more will go in more depth. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, follow my YouTube channel and activities for the uh, next sessions. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.